So it is now my honor to introduce our next speaker, Pete McIntyre. I've had a pleasure of getting to know him and cared for him for the last four years. So he's going to come up and tell about his journey with Pete. Thank you. My name is Steve Vector. I've been a uh, type 2 diabetic since uh, 2001. And for about you know, almost uh, almost 20 years of that, I was under the care of a physician in a rural area. And about four years ago, I moved to Ann Arbor. And at that time, my doctor uh, prescribed that I see Heidi. And my blood, pressure, my, uh, blood sugar started to drop that point. Um, I saw them primarily because at that point I was fighting to get a, my uh, medical for flight training. So I had I had had my my medical uh, when I, when my diabetes continued to advance and I ended up on insulin. At that point, my doctor the FAA says you need to test a half hour before you land the plane. Well, this is a plane I fly. It's very hard to stick your finger, read a meter, and everything else a half hour before you land. I'm going to that CGM saying this is the way to go, and uh, but I couldn't get it. I was I was testing three times a day. I could not get that meter because my insurance was covered. Somehow, at that point, Heidi and I talked about it when we were prepping for this. She goes, "How did you ever get it?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> I contacted Dexcom, went online for it and they gave it to me. So that's how I ended up with it. Um, when I started seeing Heidi in January, January 2020, my A1C was 10.6. And through logging and logging all my meals and, and checking three times a day, by June, by June she got it down to 8.5. And I say she did. She, I mean, I really, Heidi's a saint in my opinion. I'm sorry, I'm going to sit here and praise her all day long. <laughs> Any of you know her. That we continued to drop, and at that we got down to 7.8 in 2020. It started to escalate. I mean, that was my own fault again. When did I start? May of 2021. I was able to get a constant read meter. Constant read meter. Everything it is. There's some things that happen with me, but uh, at that point, about three months into it, I, was, I suffered from information overload. I was, I was allergic to the patch. It, uh, the rash didn't look like a rash, it looked like a burn. And so for about six months, if you look, there's a giant peak here. I, I was off my meter at this point, and I just said, I can't do it. I, I was anxious, I was rashed, I just I couldn't use it. So at that point, it, it peaked up again, and things subsided, everything settled down. I said, okay, I can do this again. So, at the January of 2022, I started back on a meter, and that's when things started dropping. But when Heidi got me down, that was just, just through log. And it was just an intensive log. And then if you look over to the side, you can see I go saying when it comes to eating. You're honest. You're honest. I think Heidi brought me here just so I'd sit there. She's like, your, your A1C should be one with all the opportunities that you've got. <laughs> So logging, logging worked a lot. What the constant read meter does for me, though, is it, I'll look now, and there's dangers out there. I don't know if you all notice that. It's a terrible thing for <laughs> I, I look at it, right at my watch. I see that, okay, that's not an option for me right now. It doesn't always stop me, but it does it many times. Uh, logging again, down to 8.6. This is the information Heidi uses for me. I use, when I look at my meter, I'm looking for my lung drainage test meter. That's all I'm looking at. I'm looking at the equivalent of A1C. Heidi's looking at time and range, all these other things. I never look at time and range. It wasn't until about, oh, maybe six months ago at the most, I realized that time and range was an important part. So, about I 
was out of control. Right? Even with the house reading meter, I was out of control. That's when Heidi explained to me that diabetes, when I ate the candy bar, it wasn't just taking 15 minutes off the end of my life or a year off or a month, whatever it was. It was what's going to happen in the end and quality of my life. So there was a wake up call. She didn't know it at Heidi will tell you she doesn't yell at you, but she can make you feel really bad. in the name, it's just, um, okay, my blood sugar's down low enough, maybe I will sneak out there now. <laughs> um, probably not. But the, the ability to look at it, your readings immediately and make decisions is huge. It, 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 there, even with logging constantly, you're going, okay, I know this happens, I know this happens. When you're logging and you're, you're pricking your finger, you can you can wait to break Great time of day to do it. It doesn't cheat your A1C, but it sure keeps the numbers you've got that you better report. So, like I say, we started out at 10.6, um, down to 7.3. Uh, just prior to this um, speaking, I went to my doctor, I'm at 6.3 now. So, uh, And actually, as much as I say Heidi yells at you, I got a phone call for the next morning because you saw those results. Thank you. I started out, and I, you saw that I started out with the FAA trying to get my medical, and that's why we went constant constantly meter. In the meantime, this little guy showed up, and uh, now he's why I try to keep my blood sugar down. That's what I got to say. Heidi asked me to bring these along. Like I say, the rash, there was a good reason to stop. I stopped for that. Um, I use Freedom Band uh, barriers. They work really well, and that's what's kept me on those. And uh, it's a small company, I highly recommend them. Thank you so much. Thank you.